A new report suggests Nevada ranks second for domestic violence cases in the country. You may remember us reporting how multiple people were killed by alleged abusers in northern Nevada last year alone. Well, now the city of Sparks is using a new tool in hopes of better protecting victims. Jaden Urban joins us now here in the studio to tell us more. Jaden. Well, Ryan, it's called the Danger Assessment Law Enforcement Form. The questionnaire consists of 11 questions. Answers are then tabulated into a lethality score, and the higher the score, the more harm the victim could be in. The attorney's office says something had to change after seeing too many people in our region lose their lives to domestic violence last year. We really think this is a game changer, uh, hopefully for our region, in the sense that we're trying to flag those cases uh, where uh, incidences of lethality or danger to a victim survivor might be higher. Both the Spark City Attorney's Office and Police Department plan to start using this tool immediately. The city hopes the change will inspire other law enforcement agencies to follow suit. And so we've uh, informed our law enforcement partners in the region about what, what the city of Sparks is, is doing. And, and we certainly hope that this will spur uh, a regional coordination and a regional effort. According to the Nevada Coalition to End Domestic and Sexual Violence, Nevada ranks second in domestic violence in 2023. They report 72 homicides from 50 incidences, with five of those deaths happening in Washoe County but they hope this new assessment can help protect victims. I mean, I think lethality assessments are a great tool. Um, they are not, you know, the end all be all, but in accompaniment with advocacy, safety planning and things like that, um, danger assessments, lethality assessments are an excellent tool. This is the first time the coalition has recorded these statistics in seven years, but they believe the information helps bring light to the issue. So it's incredibly heartbreaking to read these stories and, you know, put a put a name to the statistic. So it's um, gut wrenching, but it's important data that we have this for Nevada. The coalition is working with policymakers to make some changes in the 2025 legislative session. The group is split up into three pillars to help victims with advocacy, education and programs. But they say there's more work that can be done know that there aren't enough services in the state of Nevada. So a lot of these victims may have not known that there was a safe place to go. There may have not been a safe place to go. So how do we increase safe spaces and services for victim survivors? As a reminder, if you or someone you know is a victim of domestic violence, there is help available. The national hotline is 800-799-7233. You can also visit our website, 2news.com, to look for more resources. Covering Crime Beat, Jaden Urban, 2News Nevada.